As you read the accounts in the Gospels, Pontius Pilate, the political leader of Judea, did not want to execute Jesus. And yet he pandered to an angry, ignorant mob that didn't know what it didn't know, and he traded uh, doing what was right for what was expedient. How did Jesus know that that would happen? And what can political leaders, Christian and non-Christian alike, take from that today? Well, as you said, uh, when we read in the Gospel accounts the, the passion of Jesus Christ, what transpired on Good Friday, uh, both with his suffering as well as crucifixion, the, the political leaders and the religious leaders kind of played a, a game of football. <laughs> One trying to pass uh, the responsibility to the other and ultimately uh, our Lord was, was crucified. Um, I think today for religious leaders we need to dialogue. We need to try to work things out and uh, to try to have a greater understanding. Uh, you know, have a respect. And I think here in the United States, for the most part, we do. Um, I think we do have freedom of religion in terms of being able to practice our faith. Uh, but there are times when political issues and our religious uh, faith uh, and issues kind of intersect. And it's at those times that we need to have a respectful dialogue. Pope Francis committed his meditations on this Good Friday to victims of human trafficking. Why is this top of mind for Pope Francis today? And uh, what can you as a church, what can we as a community do to further protect these victims? So we've seen over the years how, our, how Pope Francis has uh, expressed a great concern uh, for those whose uh, dignity and, uh, and their lives are threatened and those suffering from the, the, the terrible tragedy of, um, of human trafficking, the crime, uh, are certainly in that category. So how appropriate on the day when uh, we do recall and commemorate the suffering of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, to remember those who are victims and who are suffering uh, at the hands of others, in this case by human trafficking, which is a worldwide issue, including even here in our local community. Bishop Gregory Parks, thank you for joining us. We look forward to continuing the conversation on Easter night. Thank you very much, Craig.